visit with the Speaker of the House. He's a member of the institution. Some members are floating. They always float some of them. You, you, yes, you had. You, okay. First of all, you got to be in the institution to understand how it works. And um, I, look, it's legal to have somebody out. I just do not think that would ever be good. And, and, and do I regret? You start with this question. No, I, I don't think you've ever been positive on one yet, but come on. I have high hope. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> That's a good thing. Okay, let's get through this. I, I personally like Tim Burchett, and I called Tim Burchett because I read his quote. And Tim Burchett's a friend of mine, which I'm kind of shocked by this. And Tim Burchett, in his quote, said, he's leaning towards no, he's on CNN, but I'm going to pray about it. So I pick up the phone and call him because I didn't think he was already there. I said, Tim, um, I read your quote. You said you're going to pray about it. I want to talk to you about it. And somehow he construes that I'm a Christian. I'm not going to offend somebody. For I simply read his quote back. I thought there was still an opening, and I wanted to talk to him about it. He never mentioned anything when we were communicating like that. And he said, Nancy Mace is a whole other story. OK. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. <laughs> this is the one that uh, I, just got a, I just got a text from a primary opponent saying, why'd you spend $3 million? But um, I called Nancy Mace's chief of staff yesterday. And, um, because I called the chief of staff? Why didn't you call her? Well, she was on The View saying I didn't keep my word, so I didn't know what to do. Listen, um, <laughs> I can't say this in the press, but OK. Um, but so I, 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 no, you keep it among yourselves, right? Wait till my book. Um, no, so I call her chief of staff because, I don't know, maybe I don't connect her with something else. But, I just said to him, I said, can you please tell me, I don't understand, where have I not kept my word? You know what our chief of staff said? You have kept your word, 100%. Um, members come to me, and one thing, I don't like the idea that a member comes and tries to leverage me. I, I, I don't go for that. You know, I'll vote for the bill. You do. I, I, that, that's not well. But if you have a problem with the bill, I want to help you. But I can't sit there and write your entire bill and work it all the way through committee. We just got our one bill out. And they came back. The other bill doing on guns, it just wasn't working. Do you want to do something else? We did something else. I, I just don't appreciate. I, look, I bite my lip. I let people say things that are not true, but it's not right. It is not right. Her chief of staff told all of us we have kept every single one of our words. And he said he's told her that, too. Now, somehow he gets fired, I'll still get him a job. Last question. Yeah. Wait, well, I'm being too honest now? Yeah. 